Hello and welcome, my Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this new moon in Scorpio to full moon in Gemini, November 2020. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, Pisces Moon. The Archangel of the Lions, Mark Angela Lines, which you can call me Mal. Hey, my fishies. Hey, my, my Murr family. Murr. Uh, my subscribers, my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. These What Do I Need reads, I think, are some of the most helpful of the things that I do here on YouTube. You know, with the highest numbers, but people who know me are starting to get, you yeah, know, there, there's stuff in there, right? So thank you so much for your love and support, your subscriptions, you for liking the videos, for commenting, for all of that stuff, for helping me on my um, intuitive career journey or career intuitive journey, whatever, <laughs> through all of this, particularly 2020. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider if, the, if you like the video, if it resonates, just hit the like button. No one will know. <laughs> no one will know unless you have that setting where people can see what you like. I don't. Virgo is a and if you like the way I read and you like my style and you like my energy, subscribe. I'm shooting for 30,000 subscribers so we can do like membership content and live streams. And, you know, we just do a lot. We do a lot when we get there. I'm not quite at 2,000 yet, but slow and steady wins the race. At least um, that's how I'm taking it as a Virgo with a Pisces moon, which means I was born on a full moon. <laughs> so let me, let's get up in this gig, shall we? This is a what do I need read. Uh, six card draw, six different decks, two tarot decks, two oracle decks and two healing systems to get you the clues, tips, and hints that you need from the pantheons with which I am uh, uh, quantumly uh, attached, <laughs> interwoven into. Uh, for this waxing moon, we're looking at uh, the new moon on Sunday, which is tomorrow. I'm doing this on the 14th at 12.07 a.m. And by the time you catch this, if you catch this in time, we will be doing something at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight on the channel. Uh, though we'll be in Dark Moon, we'll be preparing for uh, the new moon. Uh, and then it's the waxing moon, of course, and to the full moon on Monday. Not quite a Duran Duran song, but close. A couple of cycles off, but close. Uh, and that is the last day of November, November 30th, and it is an eclipse at 4.30 a.m. Eastern. So we'll probably be doing something after that here on the channel as well on um, that Monday night. So uh, uh, that being said, um, it's a general read. You know that most likely if you're watching YouTube videos, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, check your other signs because even it's, if it's the same situation, your sun sign is going to get a different point of view than your moon and your rising and your Venus as well as it can be four different situations uh, that you, stuff you need to know, all right, or embrace or deal with. I guess that's enough exposition. Uh, all the decks that I read are listed in the description box all the way at the bottom. There's some cool links on the way down there. If you want to book me, there's info how to do that. But at this point, just find me on Facebook. I'll Facebook Messenger read you. You can pay, pay me right there or Facebook pay or whatever. That is, and yes, I've been taking coins left, right, and center. That's why it's been taking me so long to get these bits out. But <laughs> case sera, sera. Shall we take a nice deep breath and let's dive in. Yeah, I've been waiting for this one, haven't I? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> because I'm a Pisces moon. Let's see if I'm in this one. My angels, starting with the Healing with the Angels Oracle by Doreen Virtue. I call to my angels of water the sign and the sign of Pisces. My Gabrielites, please. One card in clarity for this Pisces sun, moon, rising Venus. Sign for this new moon in Scorpio to full moon next in Gemini, November 2020. What is the healing angel they need to call upon, right? Standing right there, offering its hand, its wing, its halo, its whatever it's got on it uh, to help heal here. What is the angel the Pisces most need to call upon? We'll take that one. Surrender and release uh, this uh, uh, new moon to full moon next. Now, it's an interesting thing to have surrender and release for a waxing phase, right? It's really more waning phase. But this can be very much in a place of you being more magnetic than electric, and I'll explain, right? We hear so much about divine masculine, divine feminine, right? Well, my roots in that really goes back to the Tao, right? The, the Tao Te Ching and more of the Eastern stuff. I mean, obviously, I was born in the West. I was exposed to it culturally, the war between the sexes. That was fun to live through in the 70s and the 80s with the, as a kid. So, you know, this is about the, the magnetic, the feminine then for you, water sign, to maybe not so much have to act, 
but to receive, right? To surrender and release. I know release feels like an outgoing flow, but it can be that thing of, I am clear, I am open, I am, I am receptive, right? Maybe that's what you've been through, this waning moon. And what a waning moon it's been. I mean, come on, dark moon in Scorpio? Good God almighty, building up to the new moon in Scorpio. Uh, the three days before the new moon is the dark moon, right? So a lot of transformation and a lot of internal stuff. And I can relate to that. Like I am in a place, I'm very surrendered. I'm very released. So what would the angel of surrender and release do? Like get you what you need to do that. Or isn't that an interesting thing? Supply you with what you need, like the information to like, or the time or the space or the breath, right? The breathing room to really oh, just surrender and release and go with the flow. And for a fish, Pisces, that do make sense, right? And and the, the counsel that we give to others that we forget ourselves, because, you know, we're empaths too, you know? We might be releasing a lot of empathic stuff that we're picking up from the world right now, because the world just is an alchemical pressure cooker, but not being said. So that's the goddesses, the divine feminine aspect, right? Of that, yeah, and that more magnetic, right? The masculine being electric, right? That's where you get electromagnetic from both sides of a battery, right? So let's ask the divine feminine. I'll call them my goddesses. You call them what you want. They're half the universal energy. They know stuff. Breathe. What do we need to be aware of inside of ourselves, my goddesses of uh, water and the sign of Pisces, uh, Artemis, the Amazon, Diana, the mother, and Circe, the sorceress, for me, share the triple throne of Pisces. One card in clarity, please, my divine feminine energies, my goddesses. What is it we most need to be aware of, this Pisces collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign inside of ourselves, our intuition, our feelings, our passion, our knowledge, our wisdom. What is it that we most need to be aware of inside of ourselves, this new moon in Scorpio? Oh, I feel you. Oh, you're being tricky. <laughs> to full moon next in Gemini, I'll take that one, November 2020. They're playing with me a little bit there. <laughs> okay. The Ten of Flames. Now, the Ten of Flames is a bad rap. Because you look at it, the guy's hauling a load. <laughs> you know, it's a burden. This isn't that. This is uh, the horror. You ever been to a Jewish wedding? A Jewish, uh, well, a bar mitzvah, a bat mitzvah, from what I understand, there isn't any other kind, but a Jewish one, but I've been to one. I'm. Uh, Jewish side of my family. Uh, so I've been to all three of those. They're a lot of fun. I mean, it's Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, you know, it's, it's a rite of passage. There is a completion inside of you that you need to be aware of. There is a, something worth celebrating. Now it's a minor arcana. But, you know, it started off as, a, as an ace of, of wands, right? It started off as the, the one of blades and made its way inside of you, right? There is a completion of here, you know, like maybe you are the fire, your heart's desire right now. And just be like, I'm fine. I am complete. My des my internal desires I are being fulfilled and most likely fulfilled by me. But let's see what's going on on the outside, right? That's the yin. Let's look at the yin. I'm in. I want to see. And that's the great thing about surrender and release. I know it's like, well, I have to let go of something I want. But sometimes it's like, eh, if you knew how many skin cells you shed in one day, you'd exfoliate more. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, I'm releasing and letting go. Every exhale is a surrender and release. Watch me get all philosophical Pisces. Breathe. My gods, the divine masculine, the other half of the universal uh, energy of all that is please, my gods of water and the sign of Pisces. One card in clarity for this Pisces collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, perhaps myself included. Uh, this, yeah, I hear you. This new moon in Scorpio to full moon next in Gemini, November 2020. The high priestess, you're not letting on about it either. <laughs> Woo! Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, look, this speaks so much about a completion of an internal cycle of passion and desire or something that you wanted. It could be strength. It could be courage. You know, that, that element of fire where there is so much power inside of you but you're fronting something else. It, you're, you're being very mysterious, right? When we look at the high priestess, well, this is Persephone, one of my goddesses, uh, in the underworld, <laughs> fresh down from seeing mom. <laughs> Hi, honey, I'm home, right? Pomegranate and in hand and wilted daisies. 
Mom says hi, sort of. <laughs> Such an interesting family. Uh, really, the Olympians, they're fabulous people, but oh, they're spats. When they, they yell on the lawn, the whole universe hears it. Uh, uh, there really is that, like, you're keeping this shit a secret. There's stuff that you know as a result of your journey here. And hence the surrender and release. Call to the angel of surrender and release. Whatever situation this is about in your life, and, you know, we've still got three more cards to hit the table. There is a sense of not just inner knowing, but the sense of completion right? Like rite of passage. Maybe you went through the fires of transformation and are now in that, yes, it's done, full circle. Something's over. But something with that high priestess, the virgin, right? The high priestess is the virgin, the empress, uh, the the mother, and in my daughters of the moon tarot, uh, the, the hermit, the wise one, is the crone. So this is the maiden thing. So you are kind of sort of Legs crossed, can't see everything I got written here, but I know stuff. <laughs> I know. And of course, as an intuitive, as a water sign, if you're an empath, I think I, I, you can't say that speaks for itself. There's a lot of hidden material there. There's a lot of hidden material here and you're hiding it. I mean, I don't feel like this is about a situation of which is being hidden from you. I just don't, that there are secrets involved. Oh, there are secrets involved. Uh, but I don't necessarily feel like they're being held from you. And even if they are, it doesn't matter with that ton of flames on the inner. Hence the surrender release. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> A lovely dorsal fin. Fuck it. <laughs> fin fuck it. Breathe. <laughs> My ascended masters <laughs> through the Chuck Spazano love pack. Um, here we go. Four suits in this deck. One of them is back on the shelf there because it's the suit of problems. We don't do those for waxing rings. No, we do not do that here at Join the Circle Productions. So we've got the other three decks, Luck, Healing, and Grace. You'll hear it in the prayer What Each one is four. Let's see which one you get. Breathe. We get, I'm in. <laughs> My ascended masters, please. One card in clarity. For the Pisces moon, collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for this new moon in Scorpio to full moon next in Gemini. We got the angel of surrender and release on the table and it just does not feel bad. Boom. We've got the ten of flames, the horror on the enter from the goddesses and that feels really quite good. Mm. And we've got the high priestess riding on top crossing her legs, only showing a little bit of what she knows, but feeling very peaceful. So please, my ascended masters, what is the piece of luck that we need to see, the piece of healing we need to embrace and implement, or the piece of grace that permeates this entire situation that we need to realize and allow in? I told you, delight. You know that delight when you know shit? <laughs> of course you do. You're Pisces. We are we are the great secret keepers when we want to be, right? It's just like I know. I know. Mm -hmm, I'm not saying. Excuse me while I swim downstream, right? You know what I mean? It's like gotta go, gotta go. Poseidon's calling. <laughs> Neptune. The depths of Neptune call me forth or deeper within. Yeah, no, this feels good. This feels like, you know, remember this kind of kind of release that brings delight, right? It's the delight of release. There's no greater power than the power of goodbye. Thank you, Madonna, wherever you are. Uh, but but I don't feel like that's it. I feel like if there is a goodbye here, it's like, then you know something about it, right? You know something about it that just delights you. And I don't feel like it's an evil delight. Like, <laughs> bitch, I got you now, right? No, I don't feel like it's that at all. Isn't it good that I have props handy? You know, Mavero. <laughs> intuitively driven to use them as a Pisces moon. Something wonderful here. Let's keep going. Two more cards down. Now, we've done one oracle. This is uh, the daughter, the Healing with the Angels oracle. This is the second oracle, the Whispers of Love. we got our two tarot on the table. We've got the healing system of Chuck Spazzata's love pack. We'll end with a healing mantra card by Matt Kahn. Get your healing mantra for all of us. Let's see what the higher selves of all involved say, because this should be a humdinger. Breathe. Will the party be turned to <laughs> the higher selves of all involved? Perhaps my own included, which it kind of feels included. One card in clarity for the Pisces Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs from this 
new moon in Scorpio to full moon next in Gemini, November 2020. We got surrender and release. We got the ten of flames of the Hora. We've got the high priestess and delight. What is the piece of information, inspiration, or insight we must need for this new moon to full moon next November 2020? Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Great. <laughs> this is just what I needed to know. Well, yeah, then this is about a relationship, uh, which is kind of like trying to steer away from that a little bit for change, but no. Now, look, it's not saying it's romantic sexual, but it is saying that it's, uh, it's the luck card of delight. There is something delightful here. Now, is this someone gone coming back? Don't know. We'll see in that last card, that healing mantra card, sometimes I can tip things off in that way. Sometimes it's the cherry on the Sunday that makes the reading, though I'm doing this on a Saturday. Uh, uh, but with that surrender and release, that does indicate for some of you, this is about somebody that you let go of and you're feeling really good, right? You, you got that surrender, the angel of surrender release, call it in because you've got everything you need inside of your element of fire, your fun. It's, it's, ah. Uh, Stick a fork in it. It's done. I'm done with this. But it may not be the burden, right, with this card of delight. But I don't think you're letting on about it because I think you know this is a spiritual connection. And this has been going on another lifetime. So whether this is over or not, you don't. it's not that you don't care. It's like, whatever. My prayer is for things like this. And I say it out loud <laughs> to my gods out on my, out on my deck. I say, you know, whether this person comes back or not, may I be properly prepared. I'll do whatever you want. Just let me, well, I don't care. It's, it is, I don't care anymore. It really is surrender and release, but either way, right? Because, <laughs> oh, he doesn't shake cards at you. Wouldn't that be great? Just a reader that just does that for the whole reading. You know what this means. All right, let's guard down. <laughs> oh, my, my, my cardamantical configuration spread. Is, is spread is uh fecocted. there we go all right all right last card down also from the ascended masters giving this card of delight why don't you be like transforming tragedy or something let's hope not breathe i know energy got really really high in this read i started off nice and mellow you know black and white h&m shirt ripped jeans just brushed my hair a little bit of makeup not much breathe Oh, my Ascended Masters, please, for one card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, this new moon in uh, Scorpio, to full moon next in Gemini, November 2020, again, so the, the angel of surrender and release just feels like a darling, and by the way, she's looking a little Piper Hollywell to me today, girl. Hollery comes, blessed be. Please, uh, with the, the angel of that willing to help, right? With this ten of flames, this circle dance of fire and celebration and rite of passage completion with the high priestess going, and delight. With a spiritual connection, a relationship that has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime, which essentially is everybody you meet. Being a little cynical there. Please, my son and masters, what is the perfect healing mantra for us? This new moon to full moon next, November 2020. I kind of don't want to know. <laughs> oh, receiving elation. I am born of infinite joy. Which work? Sea nymph, dryad, fairy fay, fare thee well. Fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fae. Just stay away from the eye and your cup and even knives. Uh, receiving elation, I am born of infinite joy. I gotta say, this feels like the emotional jackpot for a waxing moon, and it comes through surrender and release. And and this might very well be because you're born of infinite joy. Something that really does come from this, or at least this is the lens through which you experience it, to be aware of it, some completion that you made, and I don't feel like it was easy, hence the release is such a delight, right? Like the Ten of, <laughs> of Wands, where you carry the burden, but you lay it down, you still have everything that you wanted, at least on some level, inside of yourself. Great card, receiving elation, I am born of infinite joy, I will work this one like a fiddle, well, I don't want to say a fiddle from hell, not really the right direction we're shooting in there but you know what i mean don't you don't you pisces 
don't you want to be receiving elation? Well, let's see what Matt Kahn has to say, because I'm very pro-Kahn. Matt, Madeline, and Chaka. I am born of infinite joy. When elation is received, joy becomes your natural state of being. Now, it's not saying it's going to become your natural state of being and never again will you feel anything other but elation and joy. No. No, no, no. It's saying that when it's received, it becomes your natural state. In other words, something is a covered that reveals your natural state. In elation, you are aligning with the ecstatic nature of the universe to live each moment with renewed passion and purpose. And just that there's an ecstatic nature of the universe that you can be aligned with, I'm in. Sign me up. Elation helps you enjoy your human journey, which it is, you're a spiritual being having a human journey, as it is right now, without projecting your fulfillment onto the anticipation of future pending outcomes, surrendered and released. I'm going to enjoy this fucker no matter what. Right? Right? I am receiving elation. This mantra is ideal for increasing the flow of creative inspiration and who can't use more of that in a waxing moon. Uh, elevating the immune system. Perk. Fishy Pisces perk. And being more present, which, you know, we're prone to not always be so. So time travelers that we are, empaths of the universe, of the zodiac. Wow. Let me give you the blessing. May the Piscean collective sun, moon, rising Venus signs be blessed with all that they need. This new moon to full moon next in November, that the angel of healing may come to our aid, keeping us in the flow and going with it while we receive elation, understanding that we are born of infinite joy. And some spiritual connection has something to do with some other lifetime. But regardless, we are in delight dancing in a circle. Say the Ascended Masters, we're lucky for that. And there we are again, dancing in a circle within ourselves. Some completion, some pieces of the puzzle of fire completing and getting ready to begin. But like a Pisces, we're keeping it secret. We're keeping it safe. We're giggling behind our mask, perhaps. But we're having a good time watching things unfold, receiving elation. And may we be that. May the Piscean collective sun, moon, rising Venus signs be that in their own energy field, in their own lives, in their own hearts, in their own souls, so that they may be beacons, transmitters, healers, inspirers, blessing and healing all hearts and minds for the well-being of all. So would it be. And so it is. That's a fucking powerful prayer. My Pisceans, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you liked the video and you're not a subscriber, if it clicked, hit the thumbs up. I won't tell nobody. Oh, you really know, actually. Uh, but if you subscribe, if you like me, subscribe, right? Follow along. I'm good at what I do. And uh, I'm going to be traveling next week. So I'm going to be uh, bringing people along with me as I go to visit my uh, my parents up in Saratoga. And I'm going to see my new little brother, <clears throat> the Blue Point Himalayan kitten. I can't wait to see I'm going to wear him on my head. And you want to follow that along. So you can also follow me on Instagram. I, when I go travel there, I'm like an Instagram whore. So there we go. Um, you know, otherwise, thank you. Thank you so much. The series has been wonderful. I'm really loving doing it on the phone. And the, the at least six card draws are easily done this way. So wishing us all the Piscean collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs the very best and the very blessed of this new moon in Scorpio to full moon next in Gemini, November 2020. Hail. My darling Mer family, do it with me. Mer. And blessed, blessed.